Good afternoon. Uh, my name is Tom Bernardo. <clears throat> I'm the Community Relations Director and Legislative Aide for State Representative Demetrius Atchelis from Barnstable 2nd District. I apologize for my throat. Um, <clears throat> being Italian, we're not used to losing our voice, and I did over the weekend, so I think it'll hold up for a few minutes. <clears throat> I want to thank uh, the Chair and members of the Commission for this opportunity. <clears throat> I wish to read a statement into the record, and I'll leave a copy with your Executive Director. <clears throat> Mr. Chairman, <clears throat> members of the Commission, The Cape Cod Commission was established to protect and preserve our critical natural resources and ensure that any development and future development is consistent with the character and history of our community. Based on the minimum performance standards of the 2002 Regional Policy Plan, as well as an evaluation of the benefits and detriments of the proposed Cape Wind Project, I strongly believe that this project should be denied. It is inconsistent with the RPP for Barnstable County, as well as the local comprehensive plans for the towns of Barnstable and Yarmouth, and does not comply with numerous minimum performance standards. For example, the proposed project is not consistent with the economic development minimum performance standards intended to ensure that a proposed project is consistent with the Cape's natural, cultural, and economic assets. Nantucket Sound is the economic engine of Cape and Islands and is a draw for local tourism. It hosts a lucrative commercial fishing industry, all of which will be adversely affected by Cape Wind. Furthermore, power generated by Cape Wind as an offshore wind plant has been shown to be extremely costly. Our region already pays some of the highest electric rates in the country. We cannot afford to pay more for our power either through subsidies, tax credits, or through increased electric rates to our households. The proposed project is also inconsistent with several of the standards intended to ensure preservation of our heritage and community character. The Cape Cod Commission should consider the impacts of the turbines, not just the cables, in their minimum performance standards evaluation as well as in the benefit detriment test. Comments from historic agencies and the local tribes demonstrate that this proposal project would create adverse impacts to our history, our culture, our archaeological resources, and our heritage. In fact, a recent report by Minerals Management Service found adverse effects to a number of historic properties and to the traditional religious and ceremonial practices of the Gayhead, Adquina, and Mashapig Wapanoag tribes. The report also states that the only effective mitigation is relocation to another site. In closing, given the significant adverse impacts of this project in a number of areas, the violation of the RPP and the fact that the detriments of this project well exceed the benefits, I urge the Commission to deny Cape Wind. Furthermore, given the actions of Cape Wind and several state agencies to attempt to ignore the voice of our regional land use agency, I urge the Cape Cod Commission to continue working vigorously to ensure that the natural resources of Cape Cod are preserved and that Nantucket Sound is protected from development in inappropriate locations such as that proposed by Cape Wind. Thank you. Thank you. Demetrius J. Angeles.